I'm Liz Holder and I started working here in 1987. Uh, I think it started in a way because I had the empty nest syndrome with my children leaving leaving school. Um, and uh, I started working in the garden because that was always my, my main love. And at that stage the garden really was quite boring because it was just a, a blank canvas but somebody had donated chrysanthemums and dahlias. Um, and we were really a bit uh, fed up with having to see those all the time. Um, and I started, there was a group that met the first Sunday of every month and I started going to that and then one of the ladies, she was retiring, <coughs> so she um, said to me, well, why don't we come once a week? So we started coming every Tuesday uh, and from that we, we got one or two more volunteers and we were able to do a lot more, get a lot more plants and that from, well I have to say beg, steal or borrow with all the plants but uh, eventually we got quite a good selection. My name's Sue Peskett and I started here in the early 80s. Um, it was all the fault of Kay Basin, whose children and my children went to school together and we used to attend yoga classes and she started coming and said, you'd enjoy it, Sue, so I came on Sunday afternoons, but brought the children as well. Um, so they spend quite a lot of time running up and down the attics because they were a lot more agile than most people for running up and down those very difficult stairs. Um, mostly I did meet and greet, I think, on Sundays, really to encourage people just to come, where the children went off doing, looking for ice houses and wandering around looking at the birds because we had two bird hides then. So they spent quite a lot of time doing that. Uh, which really left me free, which was quite nice. <laughs> um, then I had about 10 years when I didn't come on a regular basis. I came at bank holidays, sort of three or four times a year. Then I decided that I would like to come back a bit more often, so I started coming on Sunday afternoons again. And then eventually um, I met Liz, who I'd known also a long time ago when we were at play school together. And she said, oh, you know, come and join us in the garden because um, I couldn't find a niche actually in the house. So that's what I've done ever since, so, which has been great because you're just surrounded by nature, so it's mm. fantastic. Mm. My name is Betty Rogers and I came just over 20 years ago. And um, first, I, firstly I was in the office, but then I graduated into the book room, which was in a bit of a mess. And I managed to get it, you know, uh, really nice and tidy, everything in alphabetical order and and so on, and I really enjoyed doing that. Just being here by myself, dealing with the books, was most uh, restful. Um, and that is what I've done ever since. The, the hall was in the process of, of looking good. There was still um, a tarpaulin over the jetted building that used to flap in the wind, made terrific noise in it. Um, but uh, Colin Fine Thompson gradually got that going and I remember when he had got a huge um, uh, tree um, like and, and they were huge and they got them it, he was a very clever man and he knew how to put put them up and gradually the jetty building looks as it is today and it's really lovely um, we had a shop in there which was run by um, a very dear friend of mine who died, unfortunately. She, w she was really a, a person who got going and she did a, a lovely shop and went to places to buy gifts and so on. And then she brought her husband along and he did things like when we had um, a particular day, he'd do roast chestnuts in, outside and... Um, Generally, it was a, a lovely, happy place. We all enjoyed it. I didn't like the journey every day. Every, I mean, every week. I came about once or twice a week. But when I got here, it was lovely. Have a bit of fresh air. And um, I think most people really enjoyed their time here. The hall, I wasn't here before the actual hall was done. up. You can see photographs where uh, the, all the... Um, Banisters were just down. People stole fireplaces. This People, is from a, this is from a bedroom because they had they brought it down and put it here because the one here was stolen. 
it really was a ruin. And then Amy Road, was it Amy Roadstone who uh, gave us some money yes, to yeah, help? Yes, 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 yes to yeah, help us, yeah. to help yeah. people start doing things, you know. I'm not sure of the date when it opened to the public because it was already open when I started. I don't know whether there was a, a particular date when it was in such in a state where they could have people mm-hmm. here. Um, but it was started by the Ellerslies, wasn't it? Yes, the Ellerslies. Yes. They, they did a lot they of the work. ones that got involved. We had a very nice tea room, um, didn't we? Uh, run by the ladies, and all the cakes were made by the ladies. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it, it didn't continue like that because I think insurance and all sorts of yes, things came into yes, health and safety. Health and safety. safety. They had to, you know, be, have their kitchens inspected when they were making the cakes and that. And so they did all the mince pies, didn't they? Yes, the yes, yes, yes. We had carols with candlelight. Then we had about four or five yes, evenings like that, didn't yeah. we? We, we used to have a number of carol evenings, and we all and everyone had a mince pie and coffee tea. Um, we had uh, a Boxing Day walk. Yes, yeah, we did. Walk, yes, we did. Yes, yes, yes. And the wardens used to do soup and rolls when we came back. Yes, when we came back. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it, it was very social. It wasn't just all work. Mm. It was lovely. Many yeah. people who, who helped. I've mentioned Elizabeth Griffiths. Yeah. Pauline Walker. Pauline oh, yeah. Walker, yes. She, um, um, she did an awful lot. Joan and Roger Dean. Mm-hmm. And um, he used to do the car parking, didn't he? It's difficult to remember names now, but they did do a lot. Um, when I first started, my children were quite young. My daughter actually got married here, which was grand. Mm-hmm. Um, and I started back coming back then weekly, which was just, it's just sort of surrounded by nature and the friends that I've made here have been a social side to it as well, which has been lovely. Um, three of the ladies that I've worked with last year celebrated their golden wedding anniversaries. So it just shows how more actively involved we're becoming in the sort of autumn of our days. Um, it, it's, to me, it's like coming to yoga every week. It's just, it's just lovely. Mm. Yeah. It's like being part of a family, really, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And the tranquility. Yeah. Yes, I think that's, yeah. that helps a lot. I was going through a bad time, bad divorce. And, um, well, I'd gone through it by then. I got very depressed, but I must admit this helped me a great deal. Mm. And I should be very sad when I can't get here, you know. It was tranquil, it was friendly, and it really helped me a great deal. And I think it helped other people as well. Agreed. Yes, definitely. People who, like women who've been widowed or men who've been, um, what's the word? Widowed. Widowed. (laughs) (laughs) Um, uh, it helped them a lot 